yeah hi friends so from today onwards we are starting our a new devops tool that is a terraform right so here the most of the things which we are covering in this sessions are practical right so we don't have to and this is one short solution if you are a new one or you are experienced you need to the all things which you need to know i am covering all the things within this session so i am starting from very scratch so how what is terraform and why only the terraform is becoming a one and only tool for the iac and third one is that how we are going to create our infrastructure by using a terraform so first question which we have in our mind that is what is terraform what then after that i will explain you why is only the terraform we are using and how we are going to use this terraform and how is the most important part because most of the infrastructure which we are going to create that is come in this third question right so what is terraform with a real time scenario real time means in our day to day daily life scenario i am giving you so let's suppose right i am not directly jump into the technical aspect of the terraform first i am giving you the basic structure that by using a different type of stories or real time scenario so that you can correlate with that and after that you can having a good understanding of what is the terraform let's suppose that's a real time scenario so in the real life scenario let's suppose this is you right so when you are small you might be your parents told you that whenever you required any type of things you go and buy from this shop right and uh, you have one password with you right let me take the another brush for this uh, might be this will be fine yeah okay so this is you right whenever you require something you go to one of the shop and in that shop you need to give one password right one password for the access of the shop like that uh, whenever you go over there you can't go and pick the things like that i want biscuits i want chips you have to give one password to the shopkeeper right once you give the password to the shopkeeper then he will give you the access to its shop and whenever whatever you want you will go and take those right so here what is the things is important that is you right and for communicating to this shopkeeper what else you need a language might be you are communicating with the hindi language english language or whatever preferred language you have then after that this shopkeeper is important here let me create one notes beside this so you is important then after that you require one language for the communication right then after that we require shopkeeper then we require all the resources means that uh, whatever the biscuit chips uh, you want you go and access those and before the shopkeeper you require passcode right whenever you go to the shop you have to tell that i am his son and her son sharma ji's sons then only you will get the access of that shop right the, the whole infra structure or you can say that the whole terraform is comprises only and only this thing right now i'll explain you in a technical aspect right this is our real time scenario means in our day to day life how we what are the things we are going to do right and now i'll explain you on the technical aspect this is you you means we need terraform this is our terraform and terraform required go to terraform require one communication language so for the communication we have scl language right this is scl language and for scl language now we need to communicate with shopkeeper so, so who is our shopkeeper shopkeeper is our provider provider means whatever the cloud platform you are using right in the, basically i am just giving you the brief idea the basic after that i will cover all the parts on later on right this is our provider or you can say shopkeeper once the passport match, matches right then he will give you the access to all to collect all the resources all the resources means whatever is put in the shop right so this is the basic thing and uh, what is terraform if you say so we can create our infrastructure by using a code that's why this is called as infrastructure as a code so whenever if anyone asking you why uh, what is terraform we first need to say that this is a infrastructure infrastructure as a code tool means by using a code you can create your own infrastructure and what are the things you required for creating this infrastructure the first thing is that you required a terraform right terraform plugins you required then you need to know scl language so here the questions come like that which language terraform uses so you have to say scl language that's the hashicorp configuration language then what are the providers providers is basically now let's come to the technical aspects so when we are talking about the providers providers are basically a cloud providers that might be your aws that might be your azure 
that might be your gcp these are the common cloud platform i am saying but whatever, whenever you required a container platform you can use docker as well so in our later on class i will show you all the demos on the docker also that how we can create our infrastructure on top of the docker right these are called cloud providers these are basically a shopkeeper for us right why these are called shopkeeper because without the help of this we cannot go get the access of this shop right so once then after that we need to give the access key and all then after that we what all the if anyone ask you what all are the resources so resources are basically those things those are those services which is given by a provider in a shop what are the, the resources biscuits chips and all these all will come into the resources which is provided by a provider right like a, and when we are talking about cloud in the aws side or gcp side you can say that they are giving us the storage or any operating system they are giving any ec2 instance they are giving any database they are giving those are called resources over here right so now the basic thing is what is terraform i hope this is clear because from the scratch i had started and uh, now i think that uh, what if anyone asking you or in an interview if anyone ask you what is terraform then i think that you are able to answer this question then after that why only the terraform yes this is the second question of a, of any of the interview i think that most of the interview ask this question why only the terraform because AWS have its own uh, cloud formation when we are talking about Azure they have resource management group type things in that also we can create infrastructure those are also called IAC right infrastructure as code by using a code you can create infrastructure on AWS also on Azure also and, and different different cloud platform also but why only the Terraform now again I'm giving you the day-to-day -day life scenario let's suppose this is one mall right this is a mall and this is a shop right and uh, in this mall the, they this is a, a shop a shoe shop right let's take one example this is a shoe shop and uh, here you have shoe shops nearly about 10 shoe shops are there right so if i ask you where you want to go right so might be most of you have on one thing that i'll not go to this shop i will go to this mall because there are lots of variety i will get right or might be possibility that whatever the shoe you are getting here you will get the same shoe here at very low cost so why there is because of the competition they are let's suppose they are three to five foot ten shops are there right so one shoe is of cost might be here is 100 rupees and when you reach out to here and also if there is lot of competition might be they will give you at 90 rupees why because there is competition there are 10 shops are there and there is because and in this case there is only one monopoly had created by this shop because of that scenario and the, now i'll explain you how this is implemented to our terraform the same structure is followed over here when we are talking about cloud formation in AWS, that will only create the monopoly for the AWS. You cannot uh, create uh, any resources by using cloud formation on Azure side or you, by Azure resource group, you cannot create anything on AWS side. But in our Terraform, this gave you capability that you can use either from here, either from here, whatever resources you want, you can take it and use it right like that. My dev environment is in this uh, AWS and I want my Azure is in, is in this environment and uh, the one real-time use case if i say that uh, let's suppose so my whole team is situated in india i'm just giving in one example my whole team is in india right but my client local clients are mostly users are from usa and uh, on aws side the storage is little bit low as compared to usa i'm just giving you one example when the it's come to storage in india that is uh, very low and in usa that is very high right so what can i do the first thing which I can do uh, that uh, mm, we can create two environments, right? We have to create first one for India and second is for USA. That is a dev and this is for the prod, right? In the dev, I can uh, directly give the access to the AWS, right? By creating an infrastructure by using uh, AWS. And here I will create by using uh, Azure. Why this is so? Because let's suppose in Azure, we have costing of about, mm, let me write here, 100 rupees in India right wait wait in azure we have 100 rupees and uh, when it's come to the azure this will take 100 rupees in usa but in india azure take cost nearly of about 120 and uh, on aws side this way in usa this will take 120 rupees so instead of investing 120 rupees and again 120 rupees 240 rupees is investing i'm just giving you one example they are taking one environment from aws and another environment from azure so this will help 
how this will help there is cost cutting in your business and every business is rely on the money only right each and every business whenever nowadays might be you see the recession environment is there that's why why the company want cost cutting because of this scenario now uh, infrastructure is also changing day by day right that's why this multi cloud concept is come into the picture now i hope so that this is clear to you all right and why is why is terraform because terraform give us an ability to do multi cloud infrastructuring or doing a multi cloud architecture right this is the only main reason why we need to use our terraform and not other tools now when it's come to the how we are going to implement right i already show you one of the step right this is you you means here is terraform let me write it here also this is a terraform right when it's come to the language language is scl when it's come to the shopkeeper shopkeepers are the providers then after that passcode passcode is our password you can say like that because in aws we have secret key access key and resources are remain as it is resource right so first is we require terraform so how we are gonna first we require terraform let me write here terraform right which we need to install then after that what we need to do let's move well then after that we require a sl language see coding is a thing you might be you are afraid of this coding languages but yeah sl language is basically a just an english language this is similar to json right key pair you have to write an argument is there value is there you have to write in a same way right so don't take this uh, the programming and coding language is come here so the, this is just an english language right then after that provider password and resources and this is called the provider password and resources these all things we require to how how means how we are going to implement this right how we are going to create a resources by using a terraform so basically i am doing one thing wait let me charge my laptop yes now first you have to go to a site terraform site i am installing on my laptop on my local system only download terraform you have to go over there then after that you have to go to the windows and download any of the versions right so i think that uh, most of you have amd64 so you can download that thing right once you download this uh, let me download this once you download this just uh, extract this copy paste and go to your c folder i had already downloaded this and do this step but let me show you once again where is that our file okay just go here just copy this right once you copy this go to your c folder c drive let me go to the c drive uh, in the c drive you have to go to program files now you have to create one account one folder whose name is terraform i think i had created yeah you have to create one terraform and just paste it over here right then after that we have to set environment variables right whenever we are doing any type of installation on windows we have to set environment variables so for that just go to the search environment variable right just go over here go click on environment variables go to the path edit and uh, here you will see this option edit so once you go to the edit at the last c you have to just copy paste the path of this terraform where you had pasted for me that is in c drive and uh, you also have to do it on c drive okay otherwise it won't run uh, where is that terraform uh, just copy paste this and copy this and paste it over here right i already pasted here and if another thing is that you have to also in system variables also you have to click on the path go to the edit and just do add it over here and after that just add this path over here right so i had already did this all right and then after that you need to download git bash why we need git bash because uh, wait why we need to download this git bash git bash give, git bash give us the inability to do some type of linux command we can run over here in our windows system right like that ls right and now once you do set all the environment variable just write terraform hyphen hyphen version so this is your whenever interviewer is asking any of the question related to the project scenario they will ask you this question that what will be the what was the version of your terraform when you had used right so simply let's uh, me create uh, uh let uh, us uh, create one folder or i have one folder here and that's a devops material cd 
devops material right now cd terraform practice we need to go over here then after that let me create a new folder mkdir folder 3 right now what now what next we are gonna do folder 3 let's move inside this so as you see this this is completely blank right now as of now what we are gonna create I already told you about the provider it means who are the providers you need to ask AWS is provider in our case right so the first thing is the installation is done by us right this is done SL language I'll show you that uh, how uh, what are the SL language and how we are going to use this so basically in the SL language we learn about in a lab basic language when we are talking about Hindi English what all are the things we are learning the first thing is the variables which you called alphabets second is data types which type of data type you are using and the third one is their basic operations right operators you can say operator for loops and if else like that okay now this is the third thing we require provider now the scenario has become like this if uh, this is something we have this wait let me take another brush uh, brush okay right this is your terraform you had installed this now once you had installed this terraform we had was okay once you install this terraform now what i need to decide i need to go to aws i need to go to azure or i need to go to gcp right so i need to decide all that thing which shop you want to go so basically for us which i am showing that is a aws so let us write aws over here so how how we are communicating with this by using a uh, SEL language and let's uh, uh, go to your menu now you need to just write over here AWS provider AWS provider Terraform so just open this first link go over there here uh, just copy paste this right here what you are you saying I am choosing the AWS uh, AWS thing right so we copy this go to your folder open notepad in the notepad what you need to do the first thing is first i can dot tf dot tf is the extension for the writing a terraform file all right and for background you need to give this hash right yes i need to create this okay so here what it task we have with it this is our terraform we are saying to our that this is, is the aws provider this is the shop which i want to use all right and in that shop which type of this what this will do right this will do only one thing that installing all the plugins of the aws to your local system wherever you have this terraform host so you have to also for the plugin you can specify this your version also if you are not giving any version then this will take exact this version or if you are using this type of symbol it means that a uh, more than this version you can use right so, so this is the first thing now you had noticed that you, you got this terraform right now the second thing what we need to do we require access key uh, wait wait brush and now this yeah now what we require we require access key right access key we require why we require access key for using all the resources of this right of this aws that's why we require access key so let's move again to this and here you need can give like that uh, might be yes this is the provider this is my access key and secret key so you can copy paste in your terraform code so once you did this how you get your access key right they are different way how you can use this access key but uh, i am showing you this is the basic thing but after that how by using a profile by using a uh, your environment variable how we can set our access key and secret key so just go over to your aws right create iam role this is that way from where you will get your access key and secret key because uh, see here we might have in aws there are thousand crores of uh, accounts are there right and in that thousand of crore accounts we need to implement things in our account so that's why we require this access key and the secret key and this will be globally unique right so that's why we need to create this let's move to the user add user and the add user you can give any specific name space c uh, do whatever name you want to give give the programmatic key access then go to the next permission attach existing policy you have to select now you have to give here power access power user access then go to the next next for the review 
then after that you need to create this let me create for here once again once you create this you will get this access key and secret key you have to copy paste this right uh, let me copy paste in my this one this is my access key this is my secret key this will be unique so you need to write it down anywhere because once uh, you close this you don't be able you are not able to see this again right once you close this so this is my access key and secret key you don't have to disclose this with a publicly but as of now for the basic infrastructure i am doing like this soon in our later session i will show you how we are going to create this and uh, reason ap south one right ap south one why i had written because if you wait if you see here where is our mumbai yes for the mumbai reason we have ap south one right that's why the reason i had given ap south one now what all are the things we did we did this is terraform terraform is communicating with aws then after aws communicating with aws is getting configured now from the aws i want to use resource right definitely you why we had done all these things because we want resources and if you want resources so what type of resources you want we need to specify right whenever a child is going to the shop he is having something in his mind that we need biscuits and all so in the aws we, the one service which is mostly used in each and every infrastructure right not each and every but most of the infrastructure you are using the, that that is a ec2 right so here you have to write ec2 terraform code so go to this registry terraform dot not module you have to go i'll later on part i'll talk about the module also now just copy paste this and paste it over here right so for the ami here we need t2 micro and here now i'll change this ami so how you will get that ami just write ec2 go to the your ec2 dashboard go to the running instances launch one here you will see there is one emi card is there right so how we can take this emi just go to the inspect then after that uh, scroll down this is your emi id just copy paste your emi right and paste it over here once you copy paste this now your task is done right let me close this also this also and let's check this out right okay okay, there, okay this is free tire eligible right so go to the instances let me refresh this you will see there is no instance as such as of now now let's move to this i show you this file there is first dot tf file which we had created in the and in the first file what we have that all code which we write it down right this is this is the first we have to specify our shop then after that for that we need to give access then after that getting access you need you have to take all the resources what we want so here we are using a ec2 you can change this name also right but this cannot be changed this is uh, you can say that this is given by ad means terraform itself which resource you want to use you have to specify it by this keyword resource then after that you have to specify which resource i want to use aws instance rds instance whatever then after that this is a user defined name you can give any type of name over there right let's move to this now first if you are using you want to use terraform how this machine get to know that i want to use terraform we have to initialize this is right so let us initialize this so the pro provider plugins all got get installed right and after that you will once you initialize this you will see that they are two three files are automatically generated let's take time yes ls ls hyphen a right to see all our hidden files see here this two file one file is generated and second one is the folder right so let me open terraform dot log dot s here what is inside this see here is one hash code the version of your terraform which you are using and this is the constraint which we had given right and terraform version is 3.39 and we have what constraint we had given then more than 4.0 you can use it right so this is inside the our terraform log file ls minus l then uh, ls minus a and if someone asks you how terraform get to know that uh, this aws service i need to use or which provider i need to use so you need to say that in this cd dot terra wait dot terra right inside this this folder you have all the details related to your provider ls with cd registry ls cd hashicorp 
ashokop then ls then and as here you will get to know that which type of provider you are using right so more if you want to go deep inside this then you can go inside the aws you will see the your which version you are using i already told you that uh, the versioning which we are using for the plugin version we are using right for this aws so this is the plugin version of aws 4.39 after that if you want to again move inside then you will see what type of you had installed each and everything is situated in this file right let me come out of this uh, I'll read cd dot dot slash dot dot slash right and then let's come to the this one once you initialize this then after that what things we need to do then we need to plan this right terraform plan what uh, this terraform plan is saying i will tell you each and everything in our letter class that a few of these things uh, like that AMI which I'm using this and what uh, were all these things known after I apply how you get the values dynamically once this is implemented right I'll tell you in my letter on classes so yes all all looks good there is one change one to end zero to change and zero to destroy so now you can use terraform apply right once you apply the year this will ask prompt you about this that yes or no for as of now I'm using no right now if uh, we are integrated by using a Jenkins or GitLab, any of uh, our CI tools, right? There uh, no prompts, such type of prompts will come up, right? Or if we, we want to do anything automation, then manually we can't, we don't have to do give this commands, right? Yes or no. So for that, here is one thing that is auto approve. Terraform apply auto approve. Now this will not ask for such type of prompt. This will start creating this. So today what we had seen, we had to now in the practical aspect of this, right? So what practical we had seen, how we create this EC2 instance, right? EC2 instance by using Terraform, right? So the, in my, my next classes, I'll show you how we can configure this EC2 instance, right? Today what we did, uh, let me create this. This is our EC2 instance and uh, we create by using a Terraform right now by using this Terraform how again come inside this EC2 instance and configure this let me use another color right yeah uh, black color is fine yeah by using the EC2 instance how by using the Terraform how we can configure this we can configure HTTPD and uh, any type of things any type of software any type of web apps you can configure here right HTTP and we will see right so as of now for today the basic concept which is what is Terraform, why is Terraform and uh, how we create this infrastructure. I think most of these things are clear. If we, still you have some questions, you can comment uh, us, uh, comment uh, on this video and uh, or you can join our group also where volunteers will help you. All right. So let's move again, move to this infrastructure. Let me refresh this. So now you will see that yes, one of our, this thing is created. And now you see that uh, how intelligent our Terraform is, right? And uh, in the later on, you will see that uh, why I'm telling you this, this is more intelligent than any of the tools, because basically this is such type of things that uh, we have to, in any of the programming language, we have to specify that this will come first, this will come second, this will come third, right? Here, automatically Terraform have intelligence that he predict that this will come first, this will second, this will third. So uh, by this, this uh, thing makes Terraform intelligent. And if you are wondering that oh, if uh, I want to change the sequence, yes, you can change uh, those sequence also. So now you can check this out. Yes, apply completed. Now, if you want to destroy this, instead of clicking here, go to the actions and uh, go to the instance instead then terminating, you directly just write it down one command that is a Terraform destroy command, hyphen, hyphen, auto, approve. Auto approve, I already told you in the CI tools, we are using this. So what all are the commands we had used today? The first one is the Terraform in it. Then after that Terraform plan. And you can also use Terraform validate also, right? Terraform validate to validate your code. Then after that Terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve. And why I'm using this auto approve for so that my Terraform code will not prompt us, right? Then Terraform. So these 
five commands today means uh, today i had uh, already told you about these four commands right this is the first terraform plan then terraform validate we can also check this terraform validate also terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve terraform destroy so by this you can predict that the, what is the life cycle of our terraform right we have to first create our code right initialize that code then after initializing we have to plan our code then after that we need to apply our code means whatever the things we had created all right this has become a life cycle right terraform initialize then plan then apply then after that it will move it to destroy right these are the full life cycle of our old terraform right so today we seen this practical and in our later on classes as i told you right in my next lecture i will show you how we are configuring these things and that is also a good thing and uh, other than this i will also told you about some type of variables in our scl language what type of variables we are using in our scl language and believe me guys this is a very very, very simple language in our it field right if i show you once again terraform first dot this then check this out gentlemen this is a provider you need to just give the provider name then after that you have to give the uh, whatever provider you are using right here if you want to use azure you can give azure here right one new block over here and after that what type of resources you are you are gonna create right so as of now for today that's all and if you have any question you can write it uh, write it to us we will definitely try to reply you and give and solve most of your question so thanks for watching